Oh, it's actually far beyond that. One, you know, you see the cane. I've had some problems over the last three, four years. And the Rehab Institute, the woman that I've been working with over time, her husband is an architect, and he was fired, and he's now doing physical rehab stuff. But I think there's another issue, and I've had this discussion with Zurich Esposito, the question of ethics. I would urge all of you, as soon as you're done here, go back to your laptop and break out the AIA code of ethics. Take a look at it. Are you all utterly familiar with it? No. It opens up with what? With the Justice Department thing that says, let me start this another way. I've been an AIA member for whatever it is, 50 years now. When I joined the AIA, believe it or not, the Code of Ethics said you couldn't undercut fees. You couldn't displace another architect without advising the architect first. You couldn't advertise. The Code of Ethics today starts out by saying you can undercut fees. You, the Justice Department stepped in, I'll tell you why. And it says you can you, you can't displace another architect. You don't have to let him know. You can't advertise. And this came about because the Justice Department had a lawsuit against the AIA nationally, but it was against the Chicago chapter. Yeah, so was Margaret, so was Eva Maddox. So you, you know the whole history. Yeah, it's the Tom Ironman story about setting F fixing fees. Um, so the Justice Department, it's interesting, it's, it's important that you all reread the Constitution and you'll find nothing qualitative in it. It's quantitative. I mean, because this is a free-based capitalist society. So you have, you have to have an ethical, you have to have an ethical pursuit within you. It's not going to be given to you by the government. You have to break the law to get in trouble, okay? So that's not the profession I signed up to. So it doesn't, I mean, but it is going in that direction. I'm aware of it. And it's just a cry in the wilderness and I'm aware of that too. Um, but I have nothing against the machine. The machine is great. The computer is great, no question about it. No doubt about it, but you still have to spend the time it doesn't really reduce the time. Everybody thinks it does from a profit point of view, but it doesn't reduce the time that it takes to turn out really good design. That still takes time. And whether or not you can draw. I mean, I am interested in drawing, but I grant you that most aren't because they never learned it. And now they don't need to learn it. 